Travis said. Ernie Francis Jr. side by side. It, it, it's really tight, and uh, David Hoots has made a good job of making sure that no one kind of goes to green until, until he's good and ready, and uh, it, it makes it just a little bit more exciting. And look how packed up they are for our TA. He certainly does make sure that we get good and packed up, that we have a nice tight pack there so that it's a good race for the fans getting down into turn one. Well, listen to that wonderful roar. As Chris Dyson leads the field, Tommy Dreesy will try to pass. Boris said on the inside. Good start also from Ernie Francis Jr. Nice braking from Boris said on the inside in the challenger, and he's doing just that, making a challenge as Francis is forced to go wide as we go on board with Simon Gray, just behind this group in the lead, heading towards NASCAR for the first time. Francis Jr. makes a move on Forrest said. Oh, squeaks through there. Nice move. Ooh, Ernie is racy. He wanted that to move he wanted in turn one. And Boris was like, nope, I am sneaking in here. But uh, I tell you what, that was a bold, bold move. And it shows what kind of grits between Ernie's teeth right now today. I don't know if you'd have had a chance. You've been busy. But Ernie Francis winning yesterday in his single seater. So uh, he's got his tail up, has uh, Ernie. And he had disappointment in qualifying yesterday. Something wrong with the car. And we interviewed him and he just... He was almost nonplussed as to what possibly else could go wrong with his breathless racing car because he's had so many problems. But on board with the leader, Chris Dyson, as he comes down towards the back of the field now and into Oak Tree for the first time. Chris is looking inspired and he's looking very comfortable behind the wheel. And then back to Ernie, absolutely. Uh, it's uh, so happy to see what he's doing in the single seater. That's something that was so new to him at the first of this year at Road Atlanta. I talked to him a lot about the challenge that was ahead of him there. He stepped up. He stepped up his workout regimen so that he could build the upper body strength he needs to drive those open wheel cars. And he's won races now on those things. And that is not easy to do, especially when he's got zero experience driving a car that is completely different from these TABs that were on board here with Tommy Dreesey and that Lucas Oil Slick Mist. Yeah, and, if, and these aren't inexperienced drivers he's up against in single seaters. These are honed uh, ex-carters who are on their way to Indy or F1. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're kids that that's all they've done is open wheel, single seater, you know, vehicles, you know, and Ernie, that's he's the opposite. All he's ever done is really sedan racing. So for him to, it just shows the caliber of racer he is. And he always does Trans Am. So proud. Boris said they're in the bright yellow Poncho Weaver Classic. Uh, settling into fourth place there. Just going to kind of settle. And I, he's had that mantra in these TA races this year, Boris, just to save the tires.